So welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how to use invoke on the message box. Okay. So re remember last time, if you have watched my previous videos, we used pushes to call the message box. So we used push mbok, push the offset of the title message box, push offset caption message box, push zero, and then we called the message box. Okay. So in this case, we can simply use the invoke. Okay. So the thing that you need to remember is when you use invoke, you put the first pushed parameters to the last position okay so before we pushed mbok first so here we put mbok last okay then we pushed push the offset of the title message box second so we put it second to the last and then we push the offset of the caption message box third so we put it third from the last okay and then we lastly pushed zero so we put it in front Okay, so again, the syntax is the same, invoke the name of the function, message box A, and then its parameters. Okay, so let's test our code. So let's save, project, console build all. We get no errors. So let's test this. Test.exe, and as you can see, hello, title is here. This is the caption. Okay, so we know that it works. So instead of writing five lines of code, which you have four pushes, then call message box, you can simply use invoke and write the parameters in one line. Okay? So this is how you do it, and I hope to see you again next time.